Good evening guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm trying out PUBG Mobile with its newly released first person mode uh, on my Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. The Redmi 5 Plus I have has the 625 Snapdragon chip and 3 gigs of RAM. I'm going to test this out with the GFX tool to improve the graphics and the gameplay overall. So for this we are going to the app itself. We have to select the version we play with. <clears throat> so um, again advertisement we gonna close this one. I'm gonna let the resolution as it is. The style I'm gonna choose realistic because I like it the most. The graphics we are gonna get to HD. Um, Vulcan we are enabling that. The FPS we put it to 60. Anti-lacing we are gonna let it as it is. All right, uh, accept it, and again, advertisement, and run the game. <clears throat> um, this settings um, are the um, best one I found for myself. Um, this way, I do have a nice fluid gameplay with nice graphics and uh, no FPS drops at all. You can go back and pause it if you want to try it out yourself. I would really recommend that. And also for my newest viewers guys who are watching my videos for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games. So hit the bell, stay tuned this. and go straight to the settings, graphics and as you can see it's on HD, the frame rate is on extreme, realistic, anti-lasing is disabled because I don't really mind this option. All right. Uh, for the first person mode, um, we are going to TDP and go to um, FPP and I'm gonna do a solo game um, the map I don't really care of and it just started. The uh, Samsung 625 chip is uh, still a pretty good chip for 2018. Um, I would still recommend it. Um, it's a little bit outdated, but it still holds itself up really good. So you are able to play most games even um, at least on balanced to high settings. So you won't really do wrong getting a device with this chipset in it. And um, as you can see, the graphics do look quite nice. It isn't really bad at all. The resolution is pr pretty enough to uh, justify a good um, look and it runs really fluid. I'm not really sure if it's 60 FPS straight but um, looks like at least above 30. Alright, let's see where this plane is set it. I could jump out of, um, in the military base, but yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna wait and jump somewhere out at uh, Bachinki or somewhat. Somewhere um, at the clo uh, coastline, maybe. Let's try this one out. And even while jumping down, the um, world is loading. Um, in some cases, we do experience loadings um, where it then lags a little bit, but on this settings on, and on this device, it doesn't really lag at all, even while jumping out. Okay, let's look a little bit around. We can find something we can use. Not 
backpack, which is nice. The shotgun. The pen is also good to have. Ooh, let's try to jump out here. Right. The red dot side, sure, why not? But I'm gonna take the suppressor here, the Uzi, of course. We do want, want that one. Let's go upstairs. Let's look around here a little bit. Okay. Nothing there also. Let's look around um, in the other building. Maybe there is something we can use. The AKM, sure, why not? I really do not like the holographic light. I really somehow dislike that. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Okay, nice. Okay, there is one building left I didn't um, look at, so we're gonna do that too. No, I was here already. All right. Two time scope. Sure, I'm gonna change the scope here real quick. Gonna drop this one, gonna drop this one, and don't need that one. Also, the shotgun ammo, we don't need that too. There is someone. Got him. What, what, what? Let's see. Oh, we have Scar. Really nice to have. Scar is always, um, always a nice choice, which I do like. Um, I got a suppressor too. That's awesome. All right. There's a car, which I can use. I think this car is somewhat new. At least the rooftop. Okay, uh, let's, go, um, let's go for school. It's probably looted anyways, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna skip the city here. Isn't much of my interest.
I'm really um, happy about the performance. It runs really um, nice and fluid. Oh, God damn. The performance is um, even on the most demanding most demanding most demanding scenes <clears throat> without any flaw. The FPS the FPS straight uh, stays nice and um, strong. Okay, I can't see anybody. Would need a better scope for this. Just gonna jump out. Probably upstairs somewhere. Yes, I knew it. I would really appreciate a uh, better, better scope here. Would help really out. Okay, guys, I think you get an idea how this game performs on these GFX2 settings. I'm pretty happy about the performance overall. It really runs fluid, no hiccups at all. The Snapdragon 675 chip as set is, um, still holds itself up really good. So other than that, um, I would recommend this device still um, for this price. You really can't go wrong at all. All right, guys, thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Mouth picked out. Bye, guys.